Hello, I'm Mary Norris, and today we're going to talk about the semicolon. It's the hot new piece of punctuation. Everyone is using it. The semicolon was invented in the Renaissance by the printer Aldus Minucius in Venice. It's a fun mark to make, a dot and a comma, and I can see why Aldous was pleased with himself when he came up with it. What it means when you get to a semicolon is that the sentence isn't over. The most common use of the semicolon, of course, is as the winky eye in an emoticon, right? It can be used as what might be called a serial semicolon. You know how to use a serial comma. Well, sometimes one of the items in a series already has commas in it to separate those items with the interior commas, you use a semicolon instead of a comma to keep it clear, to keep them separated. We have an example in a critic's piece where the members of the band Health are listed with the instruments they play. Jacob Duzik, comma, guitar and vocals, semicolon. John Femoglietti, bass, semicolon. Jupiter Keys, guitar and keyboards and Benjamin Jared Miller drums. That's kind of an industrial strength comma. The main use of a semicolon in formal prose is to indicate that there is more to come. There's an example in a piece about Mexican smugglers. There are three official border crossings near Otay Mesa, semicolon. One for commercial vehicles is inside the industrial zone. I kept wanting to make that semicolon a colon because I thought it was going to list the three official border crossings near Otay Mesa, and that's probably a subject for another time, that the colon introduces a list. The semicolon is going to refine what came before. Instead of the thrust of the sentence going forward, it's going to reflect back on the first half of the sentence. The other important thing about it is that it has to be a clause that could stand on its own not a fragment. For instance, one for commercial vehicles is inside the industrial zone. That could stand as a sentence. You could have a period after Otay Mesa and begin a new sentence. So in order not to confuse the issue, we'll save the colon for another time. Use those semicolons carefully or don't use them at all. Mm -hmm.